me and I thought, you know, he would come home and we would go to France. <laughs> he would leave Iraq, we would meet in France and visit with him and I thought, you know, we would all grow old together. Amy's brother was killed in Baghdad just after turning 22. She now works for the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, which helps people who've lost relatives in war. You know, and you wonder in the back of your mind, did he know what happened to him? Did he suffer? Was it long? Was it, was it hard? Was it painful? It's now possible to find answers in the autopsy report. Since 2004, every US serviceman and woman killed in Iraq or Afghanistan has been given a CT scan, and since 2001, all have had autopsies. The US forces use the Virtual Autopsy, or Vertopsy, developed by Mikhail Tali and fellow forensic pathologists at Bern University. It's a non-intrusive form of performing human autopsies. Vertopsies combine MRI images and detailed X-rays to create a full three-dimensional view of the body. The result is a high-resolution virtual double of the corpse, which can be used to accurately determine the cause of death. Virtual autopsies create digital and permanent records of the body, making it easier for forensic pathologists to communicate with each other. While real samples are hard to transport and share between pathologists, the digital image of the body can be shared electronically. One can save all the data on a DVD or a hard drive and send the information anywhere in the world for a second opinion. If a body has been autopsied and then buried or cremated, it's almost impossible to get a second opinion. Vertopsies have yielded a wealth of details about combat injuries and revealed deficiencies in body armor and vehicle shielding. The injury reports I received from my American colleagues especially highlighted injuries from bombs or gunshot wounds in particular areas that were not protected by body armor. And this is very important for the further development of protective clothing. Dr. Tali says the information gleaned also allows them to answer the main question posed by the victims' families. Did he or she suffer? On the basis of the injuries spotted by the scan, we can say that if the wound is in this area, the survival time would have been short. The victim lost consciousness and didn't really know what was happening, and then simply died. Amy Nyberger Miller has not yet studied her brother's autopsy report, but she knows families of dead soldiers who have read and drawn comfort from them.